A roving rugby union reporter's work is never done. Stuart Cameron put in the hours and the miles this weekend to bring you the best of the action involving the Borders teams. It was a tight affair on Saturday in the Borders Cup with Selkirk and Peebles locking horns. After Greg Rayburn and Josh Welsh had exchanged penalties, Peebles' Kieran Brown ran in to score following a break by Donald Anderson. Rayburn converted, but back came Selkirk, who finally found a way through the Peebles' defence to get a touchdown from Lewis McLennan. It was 10-8 to Peebles at the break, but with only one score in the second half, this penalty from Josh Welsh sealed the game for Selkirk, who edged it by one point. In the other match played on Saturday, Andrew Skeen scored four tries in a 10-try romp for Clinical Melrose, who beat Jed Forrest 66-14 and go top of the table. Plenty of tries down in Bristol as a makeshift gala team travelled down to play Andy Robinson's side in the British and Irish Cup. The pro team were far too strong, fielding three internationalists and numerous age-grade internationals, and this early try illustrated the power of the Bristol pack. Scrum half Callum Bailey danced in for try number two of seven in the first half, with Andy Short scoring one of the others, which saw the hosts lead 45-0 at the turn. A much better second period from Gala saw them concede 17 further points, but they did get over the try line themselves. Braley completed a hat-trick with this try, but Ben Tullis got a consolation but well-deserved score for the Maroons. Gala fly half David O'Hagan. Listen, that's what Gala's all about. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's not just about 15 players on the pitch, it's about a big squad um, sticking together and just showing that character. And exposing these youngsters like Blair Reevely, great to see him come on with 10 minutes to go, getting his you know, first appearance for Gala. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? You know, that's, and that's what rugby's all about, you know, the, these experiences. And I think he did very well for his 10 minutes and I think he'll be looking more game time next week. And that's what it's all about. Ewan Scott and Alan Eamon picked up injuries yesterday to add to the club's huge list and coach George Graham will find it hard to put together a team to face up to Bristol in the return leg next Saturday at Netherdale. Stuart Cameron, ITV News, Bristol.